Also tonight, some Shyockton high school seniors want two of their classmates who died this school year remembered at graduation, and they're making a special request. But school officials have not decided if they'll grant it. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has that story with multiple views. When Shyockton senior Cody Barker took his life last September, a little piece of his mother went with him. And now as the school year wraps up, his death is hitting her hard once again. Watching the other kids make plans and knowing that Cody would have been making plans to move on too. It's hard to deal with. Barker died nine days into the school year. Then, just last week, another senior, Chase Braun, was killed in a motorcycle crash. It's been a really rough year. We've lost two classmates and we were all really close with them. Senior Alex Patsa says the deaths prompted her tight-knit class to make a request last Monday. We want them to be involved in our graduation. The class asked the school for two empty chairs with Cody and Chase's pictures, cap and gown, and flowers to be present at the ceremony. It's a request school officials are still talking over. School officials declined to go on camera, but told me this is the first time the high school has dealt with a situation like this. Shyockton Superintendent Chris Vander Hayden issued a statement saying, quote, We'll continue to research how other schools handled these situations. We will make a decision on how to proceed early next week. But friends and family wonder why the decision making is taking so long. This is something so simple, just two empty chairs. We don't feel that it's much to be asking for, just a couple chairs and their names. But school officials say some people are getting ahead of themselves and told Fox 11, people think we've already made up our minds about this and that isn't the case. No decision has been made. Shyockton's graduation will be on May 22nd inside the high school gymnasium. In Shyockton, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. The school administrators also said that in the past, students who have died have not been represented at graduation.